Raw was in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania last night. This was, uh, of the two shows this week, Raw was definitely the lesser of the importance. You know, SmackDown has SmackDown 1000 tonight, so it's going to be a much uh, bigger show. But they started off with the Dogs of War, Strowman, Ziggler, and McIntyre making their way to ring. And I'm so sick of this feud. WWE, they, they drag out these feuds for so long. It's like they're lazy. The Raiders are lazy, so they keep dragging out feuds because they have nothing to do for a while. So, all right, we can just drag this out, get, do the same fucking match on Raw and on pay-per-views. And it's just to the point, I don't care. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go shield interrupted. I don't give a shit. I know there's tension with Dean. So they had uh, McIntyre and Rollins. Rollins won by Kano. All right, that's all I'm going to say about this. They show uh, the Bella Twins walking by the arena. And, um, you know, they show uh, Trish and Lita backstage. And uh, when they see Trish and Lita walking by, they show Bailey hugging them. So I guess... I don't know. They're just. I'm sure Bailey was really thrilled that she has nothing to do while these two women who haven't wrestled in years are in a big match evolution while she has absolutely nothing to do. This is. The evolution is just terrible. I mean, no one cares. I'm hearing nothing about. It's like. Um, I think the problem is Crown Jewel is getting so much attention and the company is far more. Uh, I'll talk about that. I'll talk about that issue later, but I'll get to that later and. Uh, Okay, you know, I'll, when, when we start, I'll talk about near the end of the video. That's a huge issue with WWE. Um, yeah, I think Crown Jewel's gotten so much attention. I think they've they focused so much on it with Shawn Michaels returning, and then they have uh, Brock coming back. So I think they've just kind of grown evolution on the back burner. It's just going to be a throwaway show for the first ever women's show, and it's a horrible card. Card absolutely sucks. Um, I, I don't think they even care. I, th- I think they're going to do less media now. I think they're afraid of the media coverage because there's going to be so much negativity around them for uh, Crown Jewel. They show the shield walking in the back. They show... Oh, I'm just bored. They show a video package with the Brothers of Destruction. Undertaker's talking about how they're, he's lost respect for them and then they're talking about the damn match. I don't even want to see it. I mean, I think these guys are just phoning it in. They're still going to do Crown Jewel, and I'll just mention it. We all know the situation in Crown and uh, in Saudi Arabia. What's going on? If you have been living under a rock, which is far bigger than a wrestling story. All, um, what happened was there was this journalist, I believe from Turkey. I believe he's a U.S. citizen. What had happened was he had um, he had said a whole bunch of uh, bad stuff about the Saudi Arabia government. And the story is the prince in Saudi Arabia, who WWE is working with, uh, ordered this man's death. And uh, this man, in, uh, I believe in Turkey, they sent several Saudi Arabian, um, uh, pe- like several, you know, people from Saudi Arabia to go after him. And what happened is 10 of them, or 15 of them, or many of them, they reportedly tortured this man and murdered him. And he even, I believe, was having had a video camera device to record his own death in case this happened. And Turkey is blaming Saudi Arabia. Or, um, so this is like a major, major story. The President Trump has commented on it. Uh, now several uh, uh, senators, Republicans, and Democrats are going after WWE. And... Uh, they're, uh, they're asking him to cancel the show. So, I mean, it's like WWE's making so much money off the show. And if they cancel the show, they're going to lose that Saudi money. And then their stock's going to plummet. But at the same time, they can start losing some sponsors. And if some major media goes, af- goes after them, some of them, well, ESPN's a bunch of pussies. They're fake as fuck. ESPN's uh, the shit network. Uh, you know, the pussy PC network. They have a relationship with WWE. They won't say fucking fuck all about WWE. So fuck ESPN. Like they're, they're ESPN, like they they attack the NFL because they don't have a good relationship. But they have, they won't say a damn word about the NBA. They won't say a damn thing with WWE. So um, they won't touch it. Um, we'll see. We'll see if CNN, uh, Fox News, uh, major news outlets uh, cover it. Uh, cover attack WWE for this. This is not a good look. So uh, this whole crown jewel situation. I am starting. I've the. I don't care about the Undertaker. I don't care about Kane. I don't care Triple H, and I don't care about Shawn Michaels or Trent. I could care less. I don't give a shit about that match. I don't want to watch that match. I'm sure Hulk Hogan will probably return. I don't care about Brock Lesnar. I don't even really care that much about AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan because I'm sure the Miz will interfere. So. 
that's my thoughts on the show. It looks like they're going to keep doing the show, and then I guess they're just going to wait, and they'll wait for the heat to go away. Um, you know, I guess, you know, it's uh, the money over their morals. You know, it's going to... I love how WWE wants... Stephanie talks about WWE, how they're like, there's this, you know... PC company, the woman's evolution, woman's evolution, you've put together a piece of shit card with this uh, Nikki Bella, who's this reality television star who shakes her ass, who's almost 40 years old, acts like she's 18, wrestling a legitimate MMA fighter in your main event, it's a complete joke, the show's a complete throwaway, you have a battle well with Asuka, your most talented female wrestler, complete throwaway of all these old women, it's like a piece of shit show, one of the most, it might be the worst card WWE's ever put on. Um, just a horrible card. Just an embarrassment. Uh, okay, so up next, Tamina is back. She's teaming with Dana Brooke. So Tamina and Dana Brooke is a team. Oh my god. This woman's division is a fucking embarrassment. They're against Ember Moon and Nia Jax. I guess those two are just going to be a tag team now. Ember and Nia win. After the match, uh, they, um, they, uh, they did this thing where, like, um, her and Dana, I guess, are going to be a team. They're just embarrassing. It's like, oh, my God. It's just so fucking horrible. I hate Nikki Bella. This, oh, I can't stand them. So with um, the Bella Twins and Ronda Rousey, Ronda's out, and then the Bellas come out. And uh, the Bellas say some stuff to her. They call, you know, they say Ronda's ungrateful. She came here, with, and, like, they built this place and they're trying to act like they had anything to do with the revolution the woman's revolution got good once the bellas got out when nikki bella got hurt with her neck and then brie left to have babies with daniel bryan um that's really when the woman's division got good it came about charlotte and sasha and becky and that and you know for a period it was actually really good until it fell off a cliff uh recently again but that's, you know, it was really strong on Raw back then, and they had that triple threat WrestleMania that was actually the best match on that show. But, you know, the best thing that ever happened to them was the Bellas getting out of the picture. So um, they're trying to take credit, and then Ronda absolutely destroys them. She says, you leech off the names of your men, which is true. You plagiarize your movesets. That's definitely more true for Brie. Uh, you, um, he says that uh, she, uh, Ronda says, like, um, she calls the Bellas do nothing Bella. She used to say that in UFC a do nothing bitch. I just thought that was so stupid, so annoying. I hated when she said that. It's just the dumb shit. And then, uh she uh she goes in and she says this was the best line. She says she's knocked down doors and judo, strike force, the UFC, and now in WWE and the only thing uh Nikki the only door Nikki knocked down was the door to John Cena's bedroom, and then he threw her out, which was the line of the year. The fans loved it. They went nuts. They chanted, yes, that's exactly what everyone thinks of Nikki. Smart move by WWE to use this as storyline, fuel to the storyline, a few that no one really is interested in, but uh, I give them credit. You know, that's what people think of Nikki. That's what people don't like about her, and they used it in the storyline. got a lot of uh, love. Fans love it. That's exactly what Philadelphia thinks of Nikki and Bree, so... Uh, you know, it worked well. They show, um, they had to break him up with security and have Ron to beat up security. They show footage of uh, Kurt Angle from last week. I don't know what they're doing with Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Uh, they show Baron Corbin and Kurt Angle. So I guess Kurt has to face the authors of pain. They, so Aunt Ziggler beat. Uh, Ambrose in a qualifying match and then now they're doing stuff with Dean so he's going to leave now he's pissed off they're teasing the breakup I don't really care so they had Finn Balor uh, who comes up with Bailey. he beats Jinder Mahal I guess him and Bailey are staying together even though Bailey's back with Sasha uh, Bobby Lashley beats T- Tyler Breeze who cares so Trish Stratus comes out and her and Lita are there um, we're talking about the all women's pay-per-view then Alexa comes out uh, with Mickey James, uh, who she says is a future Hall of Famer, which is definitely true. I think uh, Mickey will be. Uh, I think once Mickey retires, she's going into the Hall of Fame. I think it'll be soon. She definitely deserves it. Um, if she never really came back a couple years ago, I think she'd probably be in the Hall of Fame by now because she was definitely one of the bigger names. Um, 
Uh, Mickey says that you haven't, uh, she's rubbing into them, they haven't been in the ring for a long time. I'm, I don't know, I'm bored. I don't need to see Trish and Lee that could tag team against these two. That's not a match I really care to see. Uh, promo was boring. Boring promo. And then uh, Alexa, when she took off her jacket, it's like, Jesus Christ, can this one be any more sexy? Is Alexa Bliss not a goddess? My God, she is just fucking gorgeous. Whatever you think of her as a wrestler, she's not the best worker, obviously. She's very limited in the ring, but Jesus Christ. You can tell. I mean, you can't blame her. You can't blame the company for wanting to push her. It's like, look at her ass. How could you not push her? (laughs) Jesus, she's the best looking woman. I don't care. I think she's the best looking. Just the cutest and just, my God. It's not fair. They have to push her. She's just too attractive not to be pushed. So, um... Yeah, I think Trish and Lita might win the match, probably. I think they'll probably pin Mickey. I, I think they're going to get the win. So they show Bailey walking in the back, and the Riot Squad make fun of her. And, uh, you know, like t- he talked about Sasha, so Sasha's coming back. So they had um, the Authors of Pain beat uh, some Alquist Conquistador. Uh, it was a quick match. I don't know. Was that really even Kurt? I don't even know what to say. Um, yeah, it was just embarrassing. Yeah, it wasn't Kurt Angle. Uh, he hits Corbin with an angle slam on the stage. So I guess it's Kurt and Corbin probably at Crown Jewel. They showed the Riot Squad using ketchup and mustard, mocking Natalia, and they're making fun of him. Um, and then uh, they show uh, when they come out, Bailey comes out, then Natalia comes out after her. And then uh, Sasha Banks makes a return. Not a big crowd reaction, especially for Bailey and Sasha. Barely get any reaction. But Sasha's back after what, five? I don't even know what's. I'm not going to even speculate. There was, okay, there was some rumor Sasha Banks is pregnant. I don't believe that. I think, you know, she's so young. She's what, 26, 27, probably? Yeah, 26. She can still make a lot of money. She's one of the top merch sellers. I think she might be the most. Maybe not anymore. Maybe Rhonda surpassed her. Maybe the Bellas are ahead of her. But she's one of the top female merch sellers. Or maybe her and Alexa might be neck and neck. I think she actually might sell more. Even though she's not being pushed. She hasn't been pushed around. She's still a t- top merch seller. And uh, she's popular with little girls. She can make a lot of money the next few years. She'll probably want kids. But not like for several years. She can probably stay around like six, seven years. She's still one of the best workers they have. I don't think she'd be pregnant. There was rumors she's injured. She injured her back. She's had back problems. That turned out we don't know. She walked out. I can believe that because she's the type of person who would do that. She's someone I can definitely see her being the type to walk out. Absolutely could see that without question. Uh, but we don't know. So they're keeping it quiet. So I'm assuming it's not good. Um, I think uh, you're probably going to get a six-on-one tag at Evolution now. Probably Natty with Bailey and Sasha against the Riot Squad. I don't think they'll be in the battle royale. They announced the battle royale. I think that they're going to get their own match. Uh, Natalia wins by DQ after the match. They have uh, all three of them lay out the Riot Squad. So that looks like what they're going to do. That's a six-on-one tag. They've done Sasha and Bailey against the Riot Squad for like six months ever since WrestleMania. I, I remember I predicted when the Riot Squad attacked them like a few weeks after WrestleMania, I was saying, oh, shit, this is going to be like the next thing. Because before they had Bailey and Sasha feud with uh, Absolution like for like six months. All right, another six months of them feuding with the Riot Squad. Now it's exactly what they're doing. It's been a disaster. That's another match for Evolution to have now. To show Elias in the ring. Uh, I'm going to go through this quick. I don't even care. Stuff with Apollo Crews. Main event was the Shield against Strowman, Ambler, and Ziggler. Shield uh, win the ring. And then uh, after a match, Strowman goes out, gets mad. He beats them both down. Uh, he, uh, he, he slams um, uh, Ziggler. And Drew hits him with a Claymore. I guess they're going to do next feud Braun against those two. Braun Strowman, I guess, is back to being a babyface. So that's it for Raw. Um, tomorrow is uh, definitely a much bigger show. SmackDown 1000. I commented on the Saudi Arabia. I think WWE should really cancel that show.